Hi all. This is E. Manjula, lecturer in electrical, Government Institute of Electronics, Indrabad. So today we will see the in DC motor that the speed control methods. So the contents what we will see today is the necessity of speed control of DC motors, possibility of speed control and field control method of speed control for DC shunt motor and armature control method of speed control for DC shunt motor. So on completion of this uh, session you could be able to uh, understand and know all of these four contents contents. Okay. The advantages and disadvantages of flux control method and advantages and disadvantages of armature control method also. Okay. So the first one is necessity of a speed control. Yes. Whether it is necessary for uh, the controlling of uh, any motor. Yeah. Actually it is necessary. The speed control, intentional variation of speed according to the requirement. Yes, example fan, if we take fan, is it necessary to the control the speed of the fan? Yes, it is necessary. Sometimes we need uh, uh, much air and sometimes we don't want much. We may feel suffocation sometimes, so we will put for full speed. So, uh, Depending upon the requirement, according to our necessary, we need the speed control with us. This is a, a simple example which we will see in residential, whereas in industrial purpose, there are so many requirements for controlling the, I mean the vari variation of the speeds is necessary. So for that case, it is very much necessary that we have to control the speed of any motor. So mechanically, the speed is varied by using stepped pulley set of change gears, etc. This is a mechanical variation of the speed. Electrically, the speed control of motor having a greater advantages over a mechanical speed control. The DC motor offers easy speed control, hence DC motors are widely preferred. So these DC motors can be, the speed of the DC motors can be controlled very easy. That is why the DC motors are widely used all over the world. Also DC motors offer fine speed control, hence strong competition in modern industrial applications. So, what are the possibilities of the speed control? Well, see, we know that back EMF EB is equals to pi Z and P by 68. So, once any motor is designed, the number of conductors, number of poles, number of armature parts, all are fixed. So, hence it is treated as a constant part. So, EB is directly proportional to the pi, that is flux, and the speed. Because ZPA are constants. And also we know that EB is equals to V minus IARA. Then pi into N is directly proportional to V minus IARA. And N is directly proportional to V minus IARA by pi. So from this, hence, the speed can be changed by varying the voltage, by varying the resistance, that is armature resistance RA, and by varying the flux per pole. Okay. So from here in the equation, if we see, this N can be varied, it can be changed from the 
voltage supply voltage and from the armature resistance and from the flux so with the three changings we can change we can change the speed okay so methods of speed control what are the methods available that is we are changing with supply voltage hence it is a voltage control method we are changing with the armature resistance hence it, uh, it is a armature control method and we are changing the flux per pole hence it is a field control method so there are three methods where we can change the speed that is the voltage control method armature control method and field control method so the speed control in it of a dc shunt motor the dc shunt motors are widely used in many applications in which the speed control is required like in centrifugal pumps reciprocating pumps fans and blowers lathes washing tools wood tools etc there are three speed control methods of a dc motor we know that so we are going for the first first method flux control method that is also called as field control method yes how we could able to change the field either the flux we know that here if we see the current il will come in this direction and there will be split of the current here so this will be ish and this will be ia okay this is il I A and this is I S H. Or I can write I F also as field current. Okay. So we know that these currents are available in DC motor. Now it is a field control method means. The control will be here so we have added some external resistance in series with the shunt field winding so that we can vary the resistance of rsh rsh plus some external resistance what happens if we add some external resistance to the field the current if will vary so say example uh, RSH is RSH might be 200 ohms and the applied voltage say it is 200 volts then the current flowing in this will be that is IF or ISH is equals to V by RSH so 200 divided by 200 which is equals to 1 amp so the current will flow in this RSH if there is no external resistance then it is 1 amp now we are going to control with the field means that with the if because we know that the flux which is generated is directly proportional to the field current so if we want to control the field if we want to control the flux we have to control the field current so to controlling that the field current we have added some external resistance in the circuit so uh, once this resistance is added, what happening? Some external resist uh, the RSH part is increasing. So once uh, the uh, field resistance has been increased, So we know already that uh, how the speed is going to be controlled according to the above equation that the n is inversely proportional to pi so if pi 
decreases, the speed increases. Or else if pi increases, the speed decreases. Okay. So here if we observe, the, then we have took one graph. Okay. This is IF and N. This is speed. And on Y axis took speed and on X axis field current. So here if we observe, uh, the N is inversely proportional to pi. That is IF. Hence, the direction is like this because the speed when the current is less, the speed will be high. When the current is, uh, the IF is increasing more, then the speed will reduce. So that is what happened here. So here we will reduce the current. So what we got, the IF is equals to 1. So once we add the external resistance in the circuit in the RSH part, the total resistance will increase. So the IF will decrease. So the speed will increase. Okay. So here, it is based on the equation that is uh, N is inversely proportional to 1 by pi. Inversely, pro I mean pro directly proportional to 1 by pi. That means N is inversely proportional to pi. And the higher the flux, lower will be the speed and lower the flux and higher will be the speed. Hence, the speed can be varied by changing the flux. So, variable resistance is placed in series with the shunt field winding. The shunt field rheostat, uh, rheostat reduces the shunt field current. Hence, the field, uh, field flux by increasing the resistance. So, reduction in uh, flux increases the speed of the motor. So, the speed above rated values are obtained. So, in flux control method, only the maximum possibility that because we are adding some external resistance into the circuit uh, that the shunt field circuit uh, and we are reducing the sh uh, shunt field current uh, hence the speed will increase so the values will be the values of the speed i mean the variation of the speed can be possible only above rated speeds so double the speed of the rated value is achieved here so, what are the advantages of this field control method? It is very easy and convenient method of the speed control. It is inexpensive method since very little power is wasted in the shunt field resistance. Independent of load on the machine, yes, because this IF is not at all depending upon IOL here. So, independent on the load. So, what might be the disadvantages? We will see. Higher than the normal values of the speed can be obtained. Here, only the speed it can be obtained above rated values. Wider range, speed ranges tends to produce instability and poor commutation. There is a limit to the maximum speed. There will be some limit. So those three are the disadvantages and advantages we have seen and we have seen the speed controlling method, how it can be controlled and how we can be able to control it. Now we will see the armature control method that is armature uh, rheostatic control method or rheostat control method. So from equations we know that N is directly proportional to P minus IARA and that is nothing but uh, N is directly proportional to EV. So variation of voltages. Variation of voltage across the armature varies the back EMF and hence the speed. So, the variation of this, the variation of across the armature will vary the back EMF and hence the speed. Higher the voltage drop in armature winding, lesser the back EMF and hence lesser the speed. So this is the voltage drop. If this is high, EV will be less. If EV is less, speed is less. So this is a graph. So if we see here what we are doing in the rheostatic control method or armature control method, we are adding some external resistance in series with the armature resistance. So here 
we are increasing the armature resistance. Are you? Okay. So this is without. Uh, okay. So there will be some critical resistance. A controller resistance RC. So this is a control RC. It has oh sorry. So RC is a controller resistance is connected in series with the armature. Okay. So hence N is directly proportional to V minus I A and R A plus R C because R C is a voltage drop increases because of R C the voltage drop increases so E V reduces hence the speed reduces. High speed of Obtainable is that corresponding to if RC is equals to zero, then if this is zero, then actual voltage armature drop will occur and actual EV will produce. So that will be the highest speed of uh, that machine. So what are the advantages of this armature control method? That speeds below the rated values are obtained. So here. If we observe the speeds, uh, the speeds obtaining which are below the rated speed, uh, exactly to the rated speed means where RC is equal to zero, the speed occurs at this point is called rated speed. And uh, if we go on increasing this RC, EB will reduce and the N will reduce. So the speed will, the speed what we are obtaining in the rheostatic control method or armature control method are below rated speeds. So what are the disadvantages? Large amount of power is wasted in controller circuit. That is a resistor. What we are adding externally to the uh, to the series uh, of armature that is wasting the power. The speed varies widely with load, since the speed depends upon the voltage drop. The output and efficiency of the motor are reduced. This method gives poor speed regulation. Okay. So here if we observe there are many disadvantages when we compare to the field control method in armature control method. Okay fine. So what we have discussed in this session. So we discussed the necessity of the speed controlling of DC motor and possibilities of the speed control, how many ways there are possibilities to the controlling of the speed and we have seen in detail of flux control method and armature control method of a DC motor. So hope you understood how the speed is controlling and what are the possibilities and yes it is very much is it necessary of the controlling speed all these things is understandable is understood and yes we have seen even advantages disadvantages of both controlling methods okay so we'll see some uh, uh, quiz type of part uh, so this quiz part of what uh, which will give the output that whether you people have been understood or not. So the speed of a DC motor can be controlled by varying. Yes, all of the above. Okay, we can control the speed by flux and resistance of the armature and apply voltage. The most efficient of the Increasing the speed of 3.75 kilowatt DC shunt motor would be the dash method. So what is a, uh, the most efficient of increasing the speed of a shunt motor? Speed control method because we are increasing the speed above rated. Okay? When field control, the field flux of a DC machine decreasing the speed the flux say field flux we are when the field flux of a DC machine decreases the speed of that machine increases obviously because this is above rated speed when the armature resistance is increased then the voltage drop increases that EMF decreases speed decreases all of the above answer is all of the above so there are some frequently asked questions. 
which have been written here. Uh, so they might be asking that write the merits and demerits of the armature and the field armature control method. So here uh, they have directly written that. Uh, write any four demerits of armature control method over a uh, field control method. Okay. And how do you control the speed of a DC shunt motor using a rear static control method? And explain the methods of running a DC control method in below average, means below normal speed. So this is nothing but armature control method. Explain the method of a speed control of a shunt motor, which is speeds above control this and using the curve. Okay, draw the curve like this so you must see it right. That curve. So this is a field control method. And list the relative merits and demerits of the speed control method. So hope uh, you understood uh, uh, the topics uh, what we have covered today is the contents what we have covered today about the speed controlling methods uh, so we will meet in the next session thank you thank you so much